Okay, um, this is Z21.eu's uh, website. Uh, to get the information to do uh, the firmware update on a Z21, you go to downloads, you then scroll down until you find <coughs> uh, the maintenance program. So we then download that. So once it's downloaded, you can open it. There we go. Uh, extract that. Okay. Um, first time you open it, <coughs> it asks you uh, if you allow access. So yeah, we want to allow that. Okay, so now we have uh, the maintenance tool. Let's just shut a few of these other things for a minute. Okay, and put that in the center. Uh, now we need to connect this to the Z21. So the, the, the router that's on the Z21, this computer has to be connected to. At present it isn't. Um, So in your wireless list, you find Z21 and connect to it. I think this will now connect, yep. Okay, so now we have Z21 connected to the same router and the computer, all the same router. So if I now press connect, it now comes up with this, um, which tells you that it's now connected to it wirelessly. Okay. So, if we get a firmware update, upgrade to firmware 1.28. So, if we go update, there we go. The light flashed on the front and it's going through its update sequence. Okay, there you see, the update was completely successful. So, now we've got the latest firmware in the Z21, okay. Let's just go to settings here. Um, now a few people are, well quite a few people should be aware of this by now. Um, the Z21 when it first came out used to start digital addressing at five. And you see here, you've got plus four. If you tick that, then you will now be able to address from uh, one upwards, okay. so. It just it sorts that problem out. Um, so that's where our settings are and everything for the Z21. Um, you can short, you can set the short circuit um, to normal, you know how quickly it trips out. Um, whether it's DCC only um, or DCC and Motorola. So the Z21 is a multi-protocol um, digital system. It's not just a DCC system, it's a digital multi-protocol system. Um, so this is where you would set that up. If you only run DCC locos, I would advise that you do set it to DCC only. Um, but I'm gonna leave mine like that because we um, we do lots of work with um, other decoders such as Trix, which is Selectrix, Uhlenbrock, which is Motorola and DCC. So for me, this is the settings that um, I would leave it as. Okay, so I'll just close that.